dominated by the so-called Stop Trump movement. Some of the things you've said about women and Mexicans and Muslims, you can't unsay those things. I've said some things in fun. I've said it as an entertainer. We're going to start winning again. Have you ever caught this before? Nope. But you will for Trump. Well, we are suspending our campaign. Donald Trump is now the presumptive nominee, and no one saw it coming. Look at the victories that I had over 16 people that are senators and governors, and one by one, they're gone. You are asking the people of Iowa here to start you off on nothing short of a political revolution. Is that right? I guess everybody is feeling the burn today. Would you have imagined that this would be anything but a finish line? I said from the very beginning, this is going to be a tough contest all the way through. What a super Tuesday! As Clinton marches forward, Sanders' path is growing increasingly narrow. First time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee. The next vice president, Governor Mike Pence. Senator Tim. Did you practice it on the plane? I read once over it, and that's all, because I wrote it and uh, with a little help as possible. We're talking about the speech that Melania Trump delivered to this convention last night. That your word your is, word your, word is your, bond, your bond, and you do what you say you're going to do. you do what you say. When they go low, we go high. Donald Trump, you have sacrificed nothing. Accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. We've been facing our own troubles this morning. More stolen emails just released by WikiLeaks. The FBI is investigating whether Russia is behind the hacks. Do you think this drip, drip, drip is having an effect? Yes, the polls are all over the place. Crooked Hillary Clinton. She's as crooked as they come. If somebody claims he's worth $10 billion, he ought to pay some federal income tax. Putin says very nice things about me. You can put half of Trump's supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton go after each other in a spirited first debate. Hillary has experience, but it's bad experience. She doesn't have the look, she doesn't have the stamina. I think Donald just criticized me for preparing for this debate. And you know what else I prepared for? I prepared to be president. Donald Trump facing questions about the vulgar audio that's thrown his campaign into crisis. Grab him by the phone. This was locker room talk. It represents exactly who he is. It looks to me like a rigged, rigged, rigged system of... Donald Trump throwing yet another wrinkle into an already chaotic election. He's not sure he'll accept the result of the November vote. I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. It's horrifying. It's Such a nasty trust one. Fund. The FBI set to begin searching through a reported 650,000 emails found on Anthony Weiner's laptop. We never thought we were going to say thank you to Anthony Weiner. If they want to look at some more emails of one of my staffers, by all means, go ahead. Hillary Clinton's campaign now in full damage control mode after this October surprise that could upend the entire race. We will make America great again. Voters casting their ballots after the most contentious and controversial presidential campaign in history. State after state turning the election map into a sea of red. Ohio will go to Donald Trump. I think there's some real jitter setting in, in the Clinton headquarters right now. He just blew through every single vote total that Democrats had and frankly, even Republicans. The nation is waking up to a stunning upset. President-elect of the United States, Donald Trump. An astonishing victory and a massive repudiation of his opponent, President Obama, the Washington establishment, and the media. It is time for us to come together as one united people. This loss hurts, but please never stop believing that fighting for what's right is worth it. New protests erupting against Donald Trump in cities coast to coast. We're actually all on one team. 
We're not Democrats first. We're not Republicans first. We are Americans first. That's how democracy works. God. The Pulse nightclub, that is where the worst mass shooting in U.S. history took place. No one can tell me where my son is. A community that is just in shock is just almost too much to bear. This was an act of terror. In a series of calls with police, McKean pledged his allegiance to ISIS. Thousands come together to remember the 49 victims. And love is love is love. It cannot be killed or swept aside. Five explosive devices discovered near a commuter train station in New Jersey just a day after a device exploded here in New York City. Hey, everybody get off of the street! People were scared out of their wits. A chilling attack that injured 11 people at Ohio State University. The suspect plowed his car into a crowd and stabbed several people with a butcher knife. I think it's some type of terror attack. Devastating warehouse fire in Oakland, California. The deadliest fire in Oakland's history. We all watched our home burn. 36 lives were lost in that building over the weekend. Are you the man who should be held accountable? No, I'm not going to answer are these you, questions on this are level. Are you worried that you I'd rather get trapped. on the floor and be trampled by the parents. Deadly police-involved shooting in Louisiana. It's the latest deadly police shootings in Minnesota. Oh, that's a reach for it! Deadly police shooting down in North Carolina, setting off a wave of angry protest. It's a tragedy in Dallas. Officers killed, six others wounded. Police across America feel this loss to their core. Three police officers were killed down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, when they were ambushed. A terrible school bus crash in Tennessee. I saw them pulling kids out of the bus. A sixth child has died. We have arrested the bus driver. What started out as a family vacation quickly turned into horror. The two-year-old boy was waiting in shallow water near Disney World when he was grabbed by that alligator. Lane, we love you up to heaven and down to the grass. The controversial decision by zookeepers in Cincinnati to use lethal force against a gorilla to save a three-year-old boy who slipped into the animal's exhibit. Zika, Zika, Zika. First evidence that Zika has spread to mosquitoes here in the continental U.S. A public firestorm over the skyrocketing price of EpiPens. You virtually have a monopoly at the expense of people who need it. The water contamination crisis in Flint, Michigan. I got a three-year-old. I don't want her to get sick. Samsung is discontinuing the Galaxy Note 7. That unexpectedly catch fire. Controversial transgender law in North Carolina. That law would require transgender people to use the restroom that matches the gender on their birth certificates. Got a consumer alert for anybody who banks with Wells Fargo. Thousands of employees were caught setting up fake accounts and credit cards. If you return one nickel, of the money you earned by this scam was going on. It's Hurricane Matthew inching closer to the U.S. mainland after wreaking havoc in Cuba and Haiti. Major developments in Syria. Despite a ceasefire deal, clashes are again raging in war-ravaged Aleppo. An exodus of misery, tens of thousands fleeing an onslaught. Russia's ambassador to Turkey assassinated by a gunman at an art exhibition. Breaking news, terror in Brussels, powerful explosions rocking the airport and the city subway system. The horror, and that is what people here are feeling. An urgent manhunt to find killers who struck in the name of ISIS. Terror in Turkey, chilling video of the suicide bombings that rocked Istanbul's main airport. Three suicide bombers blew themselves up. Passengers ran for their lives. Terror in France. A truck plowed through a crowd at a holiday fireworks display in the resort town of Nice. At the wheel of a 20-ton truck, a driver on a killing spree. The truck was finally stopped by police bullets. An apparent terror attack in Berlin, a driver rammed a truck into a crowded Christmas market. The driver barely threw the crowds without warning and with deadly force. It's striking the similarities between this attack in Berlin and what we saw in Nice, France. Kevin, the terrorist. I'm voting in. I think I'll vote out. Yeah!
Voters in Britain have decided to leave the European Union. Take back control. David Cameron has said he will resign. Wall Street is reacting to that historic Brexit vote. The outcome has thrown the markets into turmoil. Cuba's longtime former leader, Fidel Castro, has died. Miami's little Havana erupting in joy, a celebration nearly six decades in the making. Breakup shocking fans Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt announced they're calling it quits. Kim Kardashian, reality star, robbed at gunpoint in Paris. Kim, are you okay? Hamilton. 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 Hamilton has taken Broadway, the whole country by storm. It's in Pokemon world and we're just living in it. Everyone's chasing Pokemon. I mean, Al is busy right now. Don't, don't bother me. Yeah, oh, my God. This one's lost on us old people. And just say, why don't you find out what the weather is? <laughs> Let's talk about what you guys have already done to promote this movie. You've driven with a student driver and smoked marijuana with her. Allegedly. Yeah, alleg allegedly. 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 Hi. I like you out. <laughs> Was there ever a moment when you thought, why did I do this? <laughs> I, as a parent of a child who has autism, I'm concerned, and I want to know the truth. I was immature, and I made a stupid mistake. I'm human. I definitely learned from this. The Vice President of the United States. If you could finish this sentence, on Saturday, January 21st, 2017, I will be... Somewhere warm. <laughs> if 54-year-old Barack Obama could go back, and talk to 47-year-old Barack Obama. What would you tell him? That uh, your hair is going to go grayer a lot faster than you anticipated. Smile and wave, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Smile and wave. Yeah. That's a postcard right there. today fans thanks for checking out our YouTube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives